Oh, hey, Withering Waves is on the spot again. And wow, it's for the same character, too. All companies are favoring straight in cells by putting more female characters. So, people that like female characters are straight incels? Asian games are always a disappointment with the rotten standard of people who just want to see beautiful bodies and imagine themselves with the characters. Oh wow, god forbid people want to see beautiful bodies and attractive characters. This is why we have more ugly and unattractive characters. People are too scared of having their characters being turned to a Rule 34 model or being accused of wanting to jerk off to them. It is so difficult to have a gacha game that has good gameplay and a good balance with male and female characters and aimed at all audiences. Ah, yes. Gotcha games with good gameplay and a good balanced cast. I don't know, I think Fate Go may be more of your alley. I'm no gotcha expert. If I want a balanced gender cast, I'd rather play fighting games. Thank you very much. So that hoopla was about beautiful women and incels that love them. This next hoopla is about anime and the characters that are being sexualized. This post is ridiculous. How do I get over the sexualization of minors in anime? The characters are fictional. They are not real. The OP came on a Tumblr post talking about the sexualization of minors in anime, and then stumbled on a rabbit hole of people talking about all that. Reading through it made the OP feel guilty. Why? If you really love anime, you would be defending it out of these ridiculous accusations, but you folded spectacularly. No, OP, you are not causing harm by normalizing them. You're not a bad person for liking fictional characters, but the OP goes on a guilt-ridden angst. This whole thing started because the OP read a review of Evangelion saying the people that enjoy them are predators. Why do you take the words of these people on face value? Yes, fiction has consequences and can affect reality, and that being an emotional support to you. Not turning you into a freaking child predator to real children because you prefer Rei and Asuka over Misato. If you think that anime is immoral, just don't watch it. Boycott it even, but don't boycott it like the Hoyo boycotters did, because they're not boycotting anything. Man, can you believe that the Hoya boycotters are going backwards again? This boycotter is going free to play. Oh, well, that's all right then. It doesn't matter if no money is going to Hoya, right? I mean, Hoya would get zero benefit from players going free to play, right? This one has a whole guideline on how to boycott Hoyo. The day that you need a guideline to boycott something is the day where you must reconsider what boycotting means. Seriously, just don't play the game. One step forward was made by the people that mod the characters to have a non-white skin. At least those people know how to fix the problems themselves. I respect those people more than those that whine about the game waiting for a solution from Hoyo. But then you have this utterly backwards and downright bigoted boycotter who thinks that brown people are less oppressed than black people, and that Filipinos are the most racist people when dealing with black people. Oh, this person is a minor. That explains everything. This boycott is a joke, and it doubles down every day on being a joke. So let's move on from that joke of a boycott to headcanons that these people don't want to treat as a joke. Shippers are quite an interesting bunch. This person said that they don't know a single character who was confirmed straight. Okay, speaking as someone who doesn't mind making all my own original characters not completely straight, desperately trying to find gaps of bisexuality on a character is very obsessive and desperate to me. I don't think Shinji is 100% straight either, but I don't go to other Evangelion fans and be like, Shinji's never confirmed straight. It's fiction, bro. I can do whatever I want with the characters in my head canon. If you want to pair two characters for your own personal enjoyment, go nuts. But there's no need to tell others that the characters aren't confirmed straight, and therefore they can be gay, bisexual, or pansexual, or that the ship that you have is the most canon of them all. Just embrace the fact that it's your head canon, and you can do whatever you want with it. Stop trying to convince others that your head canon is canon by stretching out the definition of someone being confirmed straight. You're wasting your time. Speaking of a waste of time, let's talk about the new Star. Star Wars shows, and boy were they a waste of time, weren't they? Star Wars needs help right now. It's common to hear people bashing the new Star Wars from reviewers, but it is shocking to me when I hear people who don't review media says that current Star Wars is bad. Wait, should I really be shocked though? Because they are that bad. The Acolyte is cancelled after one season. Not a shock, the show is not good. This person is crying her tears out because the show is cancelled. This show meant a lot to her and made her seen as a woman in Star Wars and as a woman taught by society to hide her rage? She is genuinely grieving that a Star Wars show is cancelled and she doesn't care if people call her a crybaby. Well, at least you recognize what people are calling you, but that's not the issue here. If you're sad that a show is cancelled or you like a show everyone hates, that's fine, but don't pull the autism card when you're trying to validate your feelings. Sorry, but you're not winning any sympathy points with that. Speaking of Star Wars, our next hoopla is a movie with two Star Wars actors, weirdly enough. 
I watched Married Story a while back. I can't help but love this movie, but not because I relate to the couple. I actually cannot sympathize with either of them. I want to see them crash and burn in a spectacular fashion, and I got exactly what I wanted. This hoopla involves a plot point where the woman isn't having sex with the man for an entire year and is shocked that he cheated on her. I don't think cheating is a solution, I think you all should talk about this first like an adult, but neither of them acts like adults in this movie, so just duke it out to the freaking ring. Or court, or living room. This minor argued that sex is not a vital thing. Yes, because you are still single, and a minor, but when you are older, you are married, and your partner refuses to give you that level of physical intimacy, it will take a toll on you. Imagine having a game console with lots of games to play, but no controller. That's what a sexless marriage feels like. The marriage story was doomed to failure, but at least the two couples are genuinely working together to help their kid. These next two couples are hopeless. People love to make babies, but when it comes to taking care of them, they fold and throw a tantrum. While I can't exactly blame them, it's still your job regardless as a parent. This person said that the husband hates the baby and wishes that it was never here. Then use some form of protection, bro. He's your kid. That kid's gonna grow up hating you if you don't take care of him. Are people getting married and not aware of the responsibilities that they must deal with? At least it's better than a whole subreddit talking about regretful parents. This OP said that they hate the kids, two and one year old respectively. The OP wished that she could turn back time and not have any of them. She wished that she didn't meet their dads too. To all the parents out there, a kid's life is in your hands. Their entire future is shaped by your behaviors and how you deal with them. Relationships are work. Work is hard. The sex is good, but the consequences for that is not. Think about that. Dang it, I need one more hoopla to fill in the time. Let's grab a random one here that I cut off from the original draft. Oh, this one is good. Why did I cut off this one again? Well, someone is mad. This person said that every single person who liked this movie is a malignant tumor in society. The clip of that movie was copyright struck, but the caption said that the opening of that movie changed lives. Well, I don't know about lies, but it certainly changed the NC music video title on YouTube. Yes, it's the opening to Deadpool and Wolverine. I really liked that movie. I thought it was a lot of fun, but that makes me a tumor, I guess. Well, if liking this movie makes me a tumor to society, then I recommend starting the treatment by applying chemotherapy on your ass. Oh, but it gets worse. There are kids who love this and are gonna grow up and make movies. Oh no, they're gonna make fun movies. How dare they? Also, kids should not watch this movie. And you saying that kids will grow up to be school shooters makes me think that you're one of those kids. That ain't no lie, baby. Bye bye bye. God, it's so stupid. And that's all for the video today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to the end, here's a kitty for you. And also, huge thanks to all these wonderful sponsors. You are all fantastic. If you want to see your names among these legends, then check out the links down below. Just one dollar. You support this channel a lot. Seriously. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my ABB Show stream channel. Link down below. Go subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.